Good morning, everyone. And look at this. So much fun. Pretty little sleepy girl gnome with her teddy bear. How wholesome can that be? Let's get started on this fun video. Good morning and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and we're going to get started on this fun little girl. And for George, who asked if this is a premiere, it's live. <laughs> until, it's a, until it's a replay. But right now it's live. <laughs> so much fun. I am really looking forward to doing this. I have used watercolor, pen and ink, and then stacked it up on some paper on uh, just some white cardstock paper to make it into a card. So we're going to put my headphones to the side. Sorry about that, guys. All right, and welcome to Becky. I just saw you as a new viewer. Welcome. Make sure, guys, if you are new here, Click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll know when I go live next or upload a video. I have been uploading a video pretty much every day for the last almost two weeks. Today is day 11 of my holiday uh, card design 2020 series. And uh, yeah, I haven't really been focusing on that so much on the videos, but that's what's going on. I am going to get started here. We're going to move into the closer up camera. There we go. And zoom in. And move down. There we go. Sometimes, you know, you, you get it all set up, you get all ready to go, and then you move something. <laughs> Good morning. Ah, Julie Rogers. Yes, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> And Cassandra K, good morning. All right, guys, I'm going to start drawing. This little girl is super easy. Uh, pretty much like the boy gnome that we did. We're going to make a ball for her head. I'm going to draw light, so it's going to be a little bit hard to see to start off with. And But then I will make it go darker with a pen. Her little body is basically just... It would be a cone. Like I said before on, on the boy gnome, if you did a cone or a triangle with a rounded bottom, see, I'm just cutting, I'm just not doing that top part. I'm giving her a nice, nice round face, but I think that's just a little too big or a little, you know what I mean. I'm going to get this all sorted out for us. She doesn't have a beard, so we will be seeing the bottom of her face. And you do want the bottom of her face to be nice. And I like it for her face to be nice and round. And then she has her hat on that's going to be covering her eyes. Her nose is going to be right up next to her hat. And I think I will be when I draw it in with the pen, I will make that nose a little bit smaller. All right. Good morning, Beth. Now, her mouth is basically a heart with the little line going through it. You see that? with that little line going right below that uh, Cupid's bow area, the little, little part that comes down. I do need my eraser. I saw it just a moment ago. Do you know how that goes? Have you had that happen to you? You, you have something, you're all set up, you're ready to go, and Somewhere along the lines, you move something. I'm <laughs> apparently I moved it into the living room. Mark just brought it to me. <laughs> I'm going to lighten up a few of these lines because I'm going to get 
get confused by them. And if I'm going to get confused, then you're probably going to be confused. With her little chin going up, her little hat coming out. Her hair is going to be tucked up inside of the hat, so I'm not making the hat go right up against her face. I want some room right here. Good morning, Catherine. Welcome to have you. You have a mustache. Yeah, well, I think many of us over a certain age have mustaches. All right, so then top of her hat is just gonna go over the top. She's got a lot of hair shoved up inside there. I'm going to say that right next, almost next to her nose, I'm gonna bring her hair in. And I'm coming down and alternating. I'm sort of like stair-stepping the hair. And that makes it look almost like it's a braid. She's got really full hair. She has braids to be envious of. And you know what? I want the curl of her hat to go the other way, I think. And you can change things. You are not... Yeah, I want to change the edge of her hat. And the edge of her, there, that makes me feel better. That's gonna be better when we get, because now we've got room for her arm and her hand, just like the boy gnome. We're gonna put her little feet on. They're just little, sort of little squished lemons. <laughs> just like that. And I'm going to give her a teddy bear. Now we're going to zoom in because I know that people want to know how to draw the teddy bear. So the teddy bear, what I'm doing is I'm giving a ball for the head, a couple little bumps for his ears, a ball for his snout, and I say that she's got a hold of one of his arms, and his other arm is sort of flung out His body is sort of like a little jelly bean or a kidney bean. And then his little legs are basically just little beans also. And then that's about all you need to draw in that little bear. Okay, if you want to make his tummy bigger, those things you can figure out as you are drawing it in with ink. But look, if you put some little dash lines, it looks like he's a sewn, stuffed to get together teddy bear. All right, so thank you guys so much for showing up here. I do have a giveaway today. We are going to give away this fun little girl and I am going to pin the chance to win. The link is now pinned at the top of the chat. So if you are here during the chat, you can click that live link and we will be giving this little girl away. Now I am going to put a little folded up brim on her hat 
her hat is a cloth hat. It's not a furry hat. It's like a an actual, you know, nightcap. And it will have some little stripes. I did hers with it being plain on the outside and she's got some stripes on the inside. Let's turn that. And now we're going to start inking her in. Um, I do want to put her collar on. Just a sweet little Peter Pan type collar. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, even if your teddy bear doesn't look like a teddy bear, say it's an octopus. <laughs> I don't, you know, who knows what our little girls like to have as their bedtime buddies. But this little gnome is so sweet. And I think she will go really well with our boy gnome. Now, the boy gnome we did during the video has already gone. But this was my sample for my boy gnome. And he's a really cute little guy, too. Uh, the link up in the iCard is for the whole playlist. So you should be able to uh, find everything you want to see. I'm going to get make sure my pen is writing and I'm going to start inking her in. Now if you have a if you are uh, confused by lots of lines, you can go in and erase out things that might confuse you. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to jump in and start inking. So I hope that you are doing well, that you are enjoying your day, that you are finding ways to do creative things. And joining me here on Deliberately Creative is a good way to do that. I'm going to make sure that her nose doesn't get too big. I like her little lips. And like I said, her mouth is basically just a heart with a little split in it. She's got her nice round chin. And now you can see how I'm sort of stair stepping down. I'm doing a line and I'm going past that line that I just drew on the end. Makes it feel kind of like it's braided without having to worry so much about how braids look. There we go. She is a little cartoon type character here. She's not a realistic person, but she's real in my eyes. She's so sweet. And I just realized that her little feet are a bit off center. So I'm going to go ahead and They're tucked in under her, her gown. And then her arm. See, these little people give you a really good opportunity to practice making characters. And yeah, so make sure that you... Hey there, Linda! All right. Nice to see you. So, guys, remember up on the pinned at the top of the chat is the link for the giveaway. And I just made that circle a lot bigger. That's okay. He might turn into a monkey instead of a bear. <laughs> Who knows? You know, that's the nice thing about these little tiny characters like this. So I am going to be setting up a couple workshops over on Tangi, which are a live stream 
but it's also it's being done on a, a Google meetup or Google meet so you actually get to ask voice questions if you want or you know we can at the end of the end of the video end of the workshop people can share what they did and Linda has a really cute bake um, uh, baked cookies little bear cookies workshop that's coming up so join on Tangi and click the workshop link so you can check those out give her her little stripes on her shirt her hat and then I'm gonna do it on her nightshirt her little flannel nightgown her little nightgown makes me think of the old-fashioned granny gowns which I used to wear when I was little Christmas was always you know new pajamas well when when I was little it was always a new flannel nighty keep you warm for the winter Did you get jammies or, or nightgowns or things like that for Christmas? That was always our Christmas Eve gift. We always had new pajamas for Christmas Eve. Yes, the, day, the word of the day is wholesome. Because you know, what's more wholesome than a, than a sweet little gnome girl all ready to get tucked in with her in her flannel nightgown with her teddy bear on a snowy evening yeah um linda is on tangy she's bake play mom i think it's something like um you can go ahead, Linda, go ahead and put your um, handle on Tangi in the chat, please. Yeah. But the lessons on Tangi are so much fun because they're um, nice, nice size group. You can learn lots of things. All right. I think... I'm going to put her designs on her, her nightgown with paint. So we are ready to start painting. I'm gonna zoom out just a smidge so that you can see the whole thing because I wanna put the background in next. And it's going to be very similar to this background. So I'm enjoying those sort of colorful night skies. And I'm going to try and be really careful about not... I didn't grab a plastic container. So, you know, I'm going to try and not tap on the glass. <laughs> so I have... This is a 12-pan set of the Arteza watercolors. And, sorry about that. And you see, I have been using it. A lot. <laughs> oh, I need to clean that yellow out. Sometimes you get other colors into your paints and what you do is you just get it wet and wipe it out. <laughs> yeah, um, we weren't, we weren't underwear for Christmas folks. We were socks for Christmas and we were and we were the, uh, oh, my brain just went dead. We were socks and pajamas. That was, that was my family. So I'm just going to go in. This is sort of, I'm using the blue to be my, my color for wetting down a lot of my sky. I'm just working around her. And I'm going to say that that much of the sky. I want to get a little bit of yellow down in underneath. So 
First up, I'm going to put some of this magenta. So that was a dark blue, kind of a phthalo blue or a, oh, sort of a phthalo blue or a Prussian blue. It, it goes really light. So I think it's more of a phthalo blue. I'm just adding some more water onto that. Don't need my eraser now. Get that out of my hand. See, and I'm just laying the color in. I'm letting these colors go together because the magenta and this blue just make a great purpley color. I have a paper towel sitting here that I'm wiping my, my brush off on. Before I go in and get my yellow, I did wipe my brush off. I'm going to say that there's sort of a glow. It's coming on nighttime. So she's got a little bit of a glow of nighttime in here. Not all that yellow is going to stay, but I want to have it so that I can work a little bit of magenta into it. Put a little more blue. Now my paper is getting pretty wet. And, I, and I'm not worried about it. You just don't want giant puddles of water on your paper. Bake, play, be a mom. Yeah, y your name is, is um, I, I remember bake and play and mom in there. <laughs> so it's enough that I can find you. So Linda is, Linda does a lot of uh, cooking and playing, doing things with her kittle for her videos on Tangy. So fun stuff. Okay, she has a very dramatic sky behind her. And I think I'm going to just make a little bit of a gray. So I'm taking some of the blue, some of the magenta, make that purple. And then I'm going to take a bit of yellow because what happens with purple and yellow it goes kind of a muddy gray, doesn't it? But it's a warm gray. It's a gray that has a bit of life in it. And I don't, I'm not worried that my gray is going to bleed into my sky a little bit. That's okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of the gray underneath of her. Just a little shadow, a little shadow under the bear. I am going to put some blue onto this ground also so that it looks more snowy, but you know. Yeah, I, I have very fond memories of Christmas mornings I have fond memories of middle of the night on Christmas. <laughs> My sisters and I, we would, you know, you know, kids, you try to stay up all night so that you can see Santa, right? And my parents, they were like, you can stay up as late as you want to stay up, but you can't leave your room except to go to the bathroom. Well, the bathroom was downstairs. And where Santa comes was downstairs. So we would, you know, think we were going to be all really smart and just have to go to the bathroom and go downstairs. But my dad would build these amazing obstacle courses, <laughs> pushing the, ref the, um, the portable dishwasher over and putting paper up over the door and you know to the to the living room and it was 
great memories. Yeah, wholesome art or wholesome is the the word of the the word of the day. This is wholesome. This is easy though. I mean, look, guys, we're just plopping color down and we're letting it sort of flow around. I am going to dry this now. So, sorry about the the sound. It's going to be a little bit loud. I want to dry the background now because I want to start putting her in. I did remember to set up the Google form ahead of time. That was that was good, right? <laughs> so when you're drawing like this and when you're painting, it's just one pencil stroke or one brush stroke at a time. So let your let yourself have some room. Tangy is okay, so I'm gonna start explaining what tangy is because I had some questions. Tangy is a short video form app. You find it on the Google Play Store, on your phone app, your, you can get onto it on your um, tablet. And it is short videos, one minute or one, up to one or two minutes. Depends on how many followers the person has. You can get up to two minutes and it's all creative stuff. So it is, um, you know, we've got a singing doctor that's on there. She's a eye doctor, an optician, uh, there she's beautiful voice. There's cooking, there's art. There's a lot of lettering, learning how to letter and they're all short videos. So you can get it in a real quick format. It's really, it's very fun. I, I am enjoying it. And you can actually, you know, you start to learn about people. You start to get to know people and it's, we're really starting to build some community over there. You know, people that are there, you can uh, comment directly on the videos and the creator, the video person can actually comment back to you and you can even share your artwork there. So I just posted the little girl, the speed video of the little girl gnome here. I just posted her up on Tangi. And so if you guys join up on Tangi and you do her, you can post a picture of her over on Tangi on the try it button. So this is just the straight magenta going in and I'm working kind of dry candy cane stripes, you know, she's candy cane stripes. And while those are drying, I think I'm going to paint in the little bear. So I think the little bear is going to get yellow ochre first and I'm going to put yellow ochre on his little muzzle and on the top of his tummy. And right now it looks like, oh gee, you just colored him all, colored it all in and took away all of his cuteness. Nope. I just put that color down in spots so then I could move it around. So I will probably be doing some workshops. Oh, well, I am going to be doing, I have to get them scheduled, but I'm going to be doing uh, some workshops on the little girl gnome, the little boy sleepy gnome, and oh, her, his other hand. Got to make it so it looks like he's being held by the hand. Um, and a snowman. So we will do little workshops that way. And it's, it's nice because it does have a live chat on it also. Okay. I'm going to grab some of the burnt sienna color. Teddy bear Brown. And I'm just 
putting just a little bit of it in, just dabs, not worried about making it perfect. This is a just a little teddy bear and it's a watercolor. So we like having the, I like having this kind of unfinished or partially painted layered look. Yep, wholesome, wholesome works. No worries. Wholesome, wholesome art, either one. While that's drying, I'm going to take that yellow ochre color again and put some of that right here on her hair. But look at this, I'm sort of working it down just in little chunks. putting it right up here at the at the top underneath of her hat so it'll be darkest there and then coming down and working back and forth so that way I've got the heaviest concentration where the hair overlaps and I'm going to grab a smaller brush I got it wet and I'm just going to use it to move, but I didn't pick up any new paint. I'm only using the paint that I had there on the painting. Look at that. And if it flows over and goes onto her skin, no big deal, you have shadows. go and then and just take a little bit of that in to here yeah tangy is Google and so when if it asks for you you know when you sign up to to join it actually here I'm picking up just a tiny bit of that burnt sienna color she's gonna have her hair is gonna be kind of like her like her teddy bear colors I think I'm going to give her a little bit of, a little bit more shadow. And work it around. See, tiny little touches of paint. It doesn't, doesn't require a lot. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So yeah, Tangi is Google. And if you're chatting here on Google, you have a Google, or on YouTube, you have a Google account, so you're, you're set already. You can just log in. Just dropping a little bit of that color in. See, really, we're just doing details now. It's not, um, we could stop at any point. I do want to put some color on her hat. And I think the color on her hat is going to be, hmm, color on her hat I think is going to be a green and she's going to have little green, little green snowballs. And her face does need a little bit of color. So, but that's pretty much where we're at. Doesn't she look sweet? Grabbing just a tiny touch more. See? I've already got three layers of paint on her hair. <laughs> and a little bit darker right up there. It looks like there was a little magenta that slipped into my... into my paint. That's actually kind of okay. Ah. Uh, ooh. Relaxing eucalyptus um, aromatherapy scent. I am seriously it's time for the my my Christmas essential oils, my holiday scent that I love. I am a cinnamon and um, 
cinnamon and spice with a little bit of pine <laughs> or cedar type smell. I, I, I like that. I like that scent. Oh golly. Oh golly. All right. So I'm going to get my big brush again and get some green and I'm going to make a green because the greens in the palette are, are fine as a base. So they're sort of a phthalo green color. So I'm going to take some of that, but then I'm going to grab the yellow and blue because I want it more green. So more blue. Thank you, Irene. There we go. Now we've got a pretty green. Let's see, there you go. So we're going to go ahead and get some of that dark green in. More concentrated green. I appreciate that you guys are coming in and sharing your time with me. I love doing these types of, oops, I didn't want to, I want to come down here and go ahead and give her her, her slippers are going to be the same green. So let's get those slippers in. First layer on the slippers. There we go. I love hearing that my lessons are helpful. If you guys find my lessons helpful, it really helps me if you can share the lessons with your friends that might be interested. And it's also helpful to me if you click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and if you are interested over on my Patreon, I have an actual, I, I'm running an actual um, incentive program and Everybody that's on Patreon already, you guys are already going to be getting a, a card, a uh, handmade art card for Chris, for Christmas, uh, for December. And if you, if a person is new and they sign up by December 2nd, you can get an art card also. So over on Patreon. I'm, I'm lifting out some of the color right here on the top of her head and down this bit right there. And then I'm going to take a little bit more blue into that green, make it a little darker, a little bit different shadow. See how you can get shape and form with just a few little strokes. And then I'm going to let that sort of flow out just a little bit. And all the links are down below in the more information box for the video, uh, for the materials and for ways to support my channel. And I thank you guys. I am thinking, oh yeah, I'm also thinking sometime this weekend of going on and doing a fundraiser for the local food bank here in uh, my area in Clark County, Washington. I am still trying to figure out how that works. But I want to do a live stream fundraiser. So it'll probably just be doing art. Okay, 
and now I'm going in where I put that brighter yellow and just lifting out just a little bit. See how it sort of goes down through and stains? Ah, okay. I'm gonna take some magenta. I'm going to take a, take my brush and a lot of water into that magenta. And, yeah, I'm just gonna make her whole face kind of pinkish. I'm gonna dry this before I put her lips on and the extra shadows, because I don't want it to look like she has a beard. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Everyone that's coming in, I appreciate you so much being here sharing your time. We're working on getting to that 100,000 still. I have so many fun things planned. Just want to get her face and her hat dry so that we can keep going. Oh, I'm so glad that I don't disappoint. <laughs> I really have fun doing these classes. All right, so now, yeah, that's dry enough. I am going to take a little bit more concentrated, the, for her lips. and a little bit of her cute cheeks showing up, a little bit of color on her chin. And now that you go, ooh, that's really strong. That is really strong. <laughs> and so that's why you have a clean brush and water so you can work things out a little bit. See, look at that. Now she's got a chin. And that, those cute little cheeks. She's a smiling in there. Move the color around. There you go. See, a little bit darker right along the sleeve. And then I'm going to use some water and work it around. That's what I love. This is cotton, cotton paper. So this is the Arteza, um, uh, this is the Arteza 100% cotton greeting cards. And I just decided I wanted to cut them apart and get two paintings off of one greeting card. And let's see here. I'm going to take some of that blue and work it into that gray color and then get quite a bit of water. because so I'm gonna use that blue gray color Again, a lot of water. And I'm going to take that in on her collar for the shadow and under the collar and under the hair and on that back sleeve there. See how that just, boom, she's got shape now. And on this side, oh, see, and apparently it wasn't dry. That's okay. Shadows can, can show up in different colors. 
There we go. Kind of like she's got a little bit of light on her from the front. A little bit of this down here around the bottom. Going up over her feet. I kind of like, I want to leave her with just the candy stripes, I think. I remember having candy stripe nightgown before when I was little, back in the day. That underside of her flip up of her little hat. And I am going to grab just a tiny touch of the darker blue shadow. All right. I want some sparkle on here. So I am going to use the, this is the Arteza metallic set. Whoops. Probably would be good if I turned it so you can see it. This is the Arteza 24 color metallic set. And yeah, that's one of my stickers. <laughs> and I am going to, let's see here. I'm going to put some of the white metallic on here. Let's get that water moved over. There we go. Some of the white metallic. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white uh, gel pen also to put some fancy stars in. Arteza does have, um, they've got cotton sheet paper. It's a 14 pack, I believe. It's kind of expensive. I like the cards uh, because it seems like I get more paper for the price. They also have, um, the postcards. These are 100% cotton postcards. Remember I did, oh, this was a, this was a class on Tangi. <laughs> you like the Google eyes on my sticker? <laughs> Thank you. That's my, um, the, the little owl is my, sort of my, um, branding my my icon that I drew up several years ago all right so I am not going to splatter this I am going to just go and kind of make it like snowfall and then when I take the white over the top so then I can have a little bit of it coming down in front of her. I don't want to put too many right in front of her, but then I can also put, see, so you can see how it's coming down here, becoming the snow. like lovely little snowballs. Fun. And then, hmm, you know what? I think that her hair is going to get a little shimmer. I'm going to go and take this kind of antique gold maybe. You know, this is a Christmas card. We can put a little shine on it, right? Just a little bit. It's This color is almost exactly the color of her hair already. So it's just going to be shimmery. I am rather partial to the... Those, those red heads. Give
given an opportunity, I will, I will work her hair into becoming more and more auburn, it looks like. And I think we are going to go ahead and dry. Maybe I'll work that one out a little bit. We're going to dry and then put the white gel pen on and we will be done. The 72 set of Magic Fly colors. Ooh. You know, the so many of the paints are being made by uh, the same company, but just named differently or branded differently. So it's really interesting. Um, they'll run the prices so differently. <laughs> no worries about typing correct sentences. I don't type correct sentences. I'm going to take my, my white pen and I'm actually going to put it in like there's maybe some little stars in the background. Again, without splattering this time, this pen is the Uniball Signo UM153 White. Good morning, Miss Amy. And, oh, if you are already members over on Patreon, if you don't have your address put in, it will send you a request to put your address in to the system so that I can send you your card. And I've already had a lovely email from Julie and received her address. Let's see here. Oh, I want to make his little nose black. And his little eyes, I want to enhance the black on his little eyes. I'm going to give her just a little bit of shine on her bottom lip and on her nose. Maybe make her buttons white, really white. Oh, and I forgot to put a little bit of shadow on that ball. So I just reached over and grabbed a little bit of the blue. There we go. All right, I'm going to sign her. And we will pull the tape off. I won't tape her down to her card, but I will set her on her card. So that way she will look finished. So what I did is I have a, what I did is I need to run this out just a little bit farther. I have a piece of the Nina um, 110 pound solar white cardstock paper. You can get it in packs of 50 or 250. I buy 250 packs, so you know. <laughs> and here we go. Pull that tape off. Time for that lovely tape removal footage. And this is the drafting tape. It's sort of halfway between artist tape and washi tape. So it sticks really well to the paper. It's not as expensive. I got three rolls of it for $7, where a roll of artist tape is one roll for $7. Look at that. Isn't she sweet? All the little shimmer on the snow. All right, so click that um, last chance. Go ahead and click that um, link.
for the giveaway, I'll post it in the in the actual chat again too. The word of the day is wholesome or wholesome art. And we are going to be giving this little girl away. I already gave away her, her boyfriend, so. <laughs> you know, I just, I couldn't see keeping her here. I love the little shadows that showed up. Oh, so fun. <laughs> okay, so what I heard in my head, Miss Amy, when you said that sexy music should be playing every time you pull the tape off, and my brain was going, oh, yeah. <laughs> like the, uh, what I can't remember which commercial it was, but... <laughs> So, all right, I am going to go and uh, check on our little sleepy girl gnome. She got 19 responses. Wow. All righty. Oh, 20. Sweet. That is so nice. All right. Well, I am going to give... Uh, 21. Wow. So sweet. All right, guys. I have one minute, one minute warning, and then we're going to be pulling the plug on this and turning off the responses. One minute. So about 30 seconds now. But look at this. Isn't she fun? I am so happy with how she turned out. And I'm so glad that you guys have been here. You know, this is one of our things that we do uh, to take care of ourselves, to build up our creativity and to grow as artists is having fun and playing with the art and not being too precious about it. All right, it's closed. And I'm going to go and get my spreadsheet. So we, we got 21. Let's see here. Yeah, 21. And now I am going to go and put in on let's see there okay the random generator we are putting in 1 through 22 and clicking generate number 21 all right let's see who number 21 is cuz i don't know oh my goodness Lisa Cosino. Lisa Cosino. Ah, oh, so cool. All right. I'm going to fill that with yellow. And there we go. All right, guys. So Lisa Cosino, I will be sending you an email. And please check your junk mail if you don't see it by 6 o'clock tonight because it might have landed there or I might have gotten sidetracked and it may take me a few minutes to get, in, get the email in. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am so excited that you've been here, that you've hung out and yay. Yeah, I signed it right here next to the little girl. Thank you so much. And remember, guys, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I want to see you back here again really soon. Oh, next week is going to be a little bit of a crazy week because it's Thanksgiving. 
I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing my live shows. I might be taking the week off. I'm not sure. I might be doing a live. I'm not sure. So we'll see, but I am going to try and do a live fundraiser this weekend for the Clark County Food Bank. So we'll see you then. Bye, guys. <laughs>